Well met everyone! Quest Knight is here, back upon the Trans Star Station Talos 1, in orbit of the moon. See, there's the moon. Right out there! <laughs> anyway, we, we had just escaped from the Neuromod Division, and we, were, we are now beginning our exploration of the lobby. Where I have... What the fuck? Oh, shit! What the fuck happened over there? Why'd that blow up? Well, there's a bunch of garbage in orbit now. I've updated your map. There's a video you Ooh, need to duck, see. Duck beer? Methuselah apple. Alright. What, 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 what can you tell me about these things? Let's see here. Expired flat? What the fuck? Oh, exploration. It's open for you to explore from the lobby. Okay, cool. Yay, I can explore stuff. Now, I was about to look at these apples. A shiny and crisp red apple engineered to thrive in the conditions aboard Talos 1. Wonderful. A bag of emergency glucose. Ah, okay. Cold mountain green tea. King's way, Kings and Way. Where, where, where's, the, where's that other thing that I got? It was a beer, right? Oh, there it is. No, not. Oh, where's, where's the beer? Duck beer. Ah, there it is. Duck beer. A can of duck brand beer shipped to Talos for one from Earthside. Restores one. Cures fear. I can be. F I can be afraid. That's awesome. <laughs> I run like a total goober. That's great. <laughs> uh. So let's see. I have. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could lean. Just. Attention. What? Station leadership has issued an alert. Uh oh. All personnel <laughs> should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. So this is something that I figured out while I was uh while I was playing the the beta or the demo. I can get in here. And uh where is it? Uh, uh what? Uh uh bap. I don't know how I pushed that from all the way over there, but I did. And now I can resecure it. Put my wrench back away. Let's see here. What do we got? Uh, Elias, you left your character sheet in the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to rec center for cruise facilities and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Oh, They have a game? They have, they have, they have, they have a D&D game going on? I like D&D. It's a fun game. Well, if only I knew what the key card was. Key code. Key code. That's what I'm thinking of. Key code. Alright. That's a lot of wreckage. That's bad. Space junk. What is that? Kepler syndrome? Is, is it Kepler Good morning, Kalos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Well, thank you. Oh, lemon peel. Per oh, hi. Are you... Why weren't you, like, absorbed or nothing? You're just dead. What killed you? Wasn't one of them, because you'd be sucked dry. They'd take all of your suck juices. Okay, well, let's, uh, trans star exhibit, huh? Okay, so I can't turn my camera while I'm... Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get this guy. It's a... Ow, fuck! Alright, let's... Let's get him. He's nice and gooped up now. Oh shit, fuck. Woo! Ah, geez, you can shoot me through that? Fuck you. Bam! Aha! Ooh, wow, you had a lot of stuff on the spare parts. EMP charge? Oh. That's nifty. And a phantom. Oh wait, no. EMP charge. Uh, yep. Okay. Highly effective against robust turrets and other electrical-based entities. Alright. Fried hard drive. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> Let's just break through all this gunk. Ah, I can take that. Nice. I have a new mirror. I have a new mirror nod. Uh, neuro mods. Let's see here. I want... I want to be able to hack things. Hacking is cool! Everyone should hack, kids. 
don't hack. It's 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 bad unless you need to. We weird 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 reliability stuff. What is this? Is this a spinal cord? <laughs> oh, that's a fucking .01 neuromod. That's horrifying. Is that actually reflecting? That, that can't be. Are you fucking serious? Wow, that'd be awesome if that's actually a reflection. A proper reflection, I mean. What's this? Survivor's account of the evacuation day one. Day one! I had dropped off my bag at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. Dog, not bag. <laughs> it means joy. Uh, I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they, they but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we couldn't see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see some pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I hadn't heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but I didn't know where to... But didn't know. But we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It wasn't military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched it, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Ooh. So the evacuation. What all? What, what kind of evacuation are we talking here? Uh, you cigar. Ooh, headphones. Fuck them. Useless to me. Oh, hey, it's Kennedy. Old Kennedy. Uh, yeah, uh, Kennedy survives in this, uh... He, he doesn't get assassinated in this timeline. 1963. A top-secret yeah. war negotiation... Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let Miss... I'll let Miss Thing explain this to you. ...together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos One. Yeah, I love. I like this. This is really cool. Like an, an interesting alternate After history. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's <laughs> departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. Nice. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. Really? Alright. 1980 to 1994. Oh, the year I was born. Not 1980, 1994. Hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, I'm curious what the Pobeg incident is. That sounds interesting. Their lives, the it's weird. Facility is decommissioned and <clears throat> Okay. 2025. Wow. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. Yeah, that makes sense. 2030. Talos One becomes fully operational. It has gotten very large. Presenting a monument of private space industry. The first neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Yes, and thus we understand the history of Transtar, at least on a very basic level. One that I'm sure that my character would be very well familiar with, but I personally am not, because I- THAT FUCKING- Oh, That's not what I wanted to throw! Uh, 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 uh. Fucking hell, fucking hell. <laughs> Come on. The fuck? Okay, that one's over there. Fuck. Yes. Fuck! Yeah, thanks, I know. The fuck else? Oh. Ah, fucking shit! Yeah. <sighs> well, that was an ambush if I've ever seen one. Christ. 
Didn't even see that guy coming. Almost out of fucking med kits, too. I think I can eat to, to restore health, right? Let me see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that'll help. Yeah, I heal a little over time when I'm full as well, so... That's good, I suppose. Oh, boy. I'm gonna need to keep my eye out. That that was that was bad. That 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 went a lot worse than I'm used to because uh, or at least what what, what I was familiar with last time. Because uh, when I was playing the when I was playing the demo, I just tried it on easy just so I would, you know be able to look around and see what was up. I haven't tried it on normal yet. This game's hard. Ooh, health kit. Okay, good. Fucking shit. It's not fair. Fucking, that's what you get. My fucking, my, my turret will take you out, motherfucker. Siskakunagi rolls. That sounds pretty nice. Trauma center. Hey, there we go. Wait, the trauma center is where, uh, where the the doctor was, right? I needed to get something from him. Bianca, good one. Uh, baseball glove and biohazard waste. Hey, thanks. I don't know why you had those, but, you know, thanks. Uh, banana peel and some starburst banana pudding. Sunburst banana pudding. It sounds really good, by the way. Ugh, suit repair kit. I could probably use one of those. Uh, let's see. Can I, tur can I use that real quick? Suit repair kit? Yeah. Uh... Ah. Wait. Why can't I... What? Why can't I use it? Oh. There we go. Use. Got it. Hmm. So... Come with me, little buddy. You're gonna be my... The fuck was that? Deploying. You're gonna, you're gonna sit that, sit tight and watch my back, okay? Scared me. This turret's gonna be my backup. It's gonna watch my back while I'm clearing stuff. So let's see here. Okay, there's a health kit in there. You, you guys may think that this is unfair, but, I mean, these things can Yep, yep, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ugh, fucking hell. I hate these things so much. Alright, Mr. Turret, you, you're gonna sit tight. Okay. Fucking shit, that's not fair! Fuck! Oh. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, can I repair you? I need repair too! Ah, oh, crap. Fucking fuck. Man, this is going awful. I'm losing everything. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna go over there. Uh, this, I, I need to get on that staircase or something, but... What the fuck? You're just floating there, you son of a bitch. Stupid motherfucker. I am I am not okay. This is this is not cool. Staff lounge. Really guys? Really? Okay, got to heal. Where to go? Fuck. Fuck you. Stupid fucking plasmid. Whatever. 
Uh, uh, okay, well, now that that's done. I'm officially done with your shit! report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your email supervisor. Okay. You can stop that now. What? What? What should I be... What should I be scared of? Apple. Good. Ah! Hold on. Back itches. Ah! Uh, okay. Oh, trauma center. Nice. Great. Uh, let's see. Volunteer attitude. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated. More than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to th uh, threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out of stre at, to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 0896. Not the old number on file. I'm sh pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Okay. Uh, from Bianca Goodwin. Dr. Igwe relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for that visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Uh, Miss Goodwin. F the code to your office is 0451. Thanks. Um, follow up your previous request. I was think I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Be take but uh, possibly get a copy of his itinerary. Okay, what, let's see. Leitner's visit. Uh, yeah, Igwe showed up quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand while he was afraid, like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he brought. Leitner was seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We uh, stopped craving a cigarette. Figures were twitching. It's too bad. Such talent. No matter we couldn't. We wanted. He wanted to get scanned. Okay. Oh four five one. She said. Right? 0451? That's right, motherfucker. OMG, hot boss. Nice, 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 uh, Chang. Thank you. Uh, Jason Maint screwed the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in sim- Yeah, thanks, I know. No type of material detected. Yep. Okay. 0451, 0451. Oh, okay, it gives me to me. Uh, 0451. Great. This is, in fact, my office, yes. Welcome back. Thank you. This has been your home for the last three years. Oh, really? The video should be on Ha ha ha! Yeah, there we go. Oh, recycler shielding. I don't know what that means, but sure. Let's fucking put it in. Uh. Wow, okay, hey. How much? Alright, shotgun. Weapon upgrade kit, huh? Okay. Uh, you know what? Over here is like a recycler. And I can put all my garbage in there. Uh, transfer all junk. Yeah, there we go. Auto sword. Uh, recycle that for me, please. Oh, jeez, that's that's fancy. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Morgan use key card. Morgan use sweet. All right. Med kit. Operator dispenser. It's broken, I think. Um, let's see here. Can I make shotgun shells? Hey, nice. Infinite licenses. Please crafting. Place crafting. Yep. Gotcha. Hey, twelve shotgun shells. That's great. That's perfect. I'm going to put some more stuff in here. I have an extra wrench that I don't need. Transfer that. Uh, transfer all the junk that I have. Great. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Oh, nice. More stuff. Hmm. Sweet.
Oh, three neuromods. Hell yeah. Teleconferencing. Uh, note. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Morgan. Uh, I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I have an upgrade, a, a weapon upgrade, I think. What? Oh, hey, Morgan, you. Nice. Um. I can get the next level of hacking. I have six neuromods. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna get this thing that heals me more. Um, engineer. I want um more health. Thank you. Okay. And me no, I need my inventory. I want Psy Hypo. Huh. I don't have any psychic powers, so I don't really have any use for that yet. Um I'm gonna get rid of all this junk again. Transfer the junk. Okay, cool. Buff up. Minerals and synthetics. Got it. Oh, I'm guessing the. Yep, that's me. There I am. There's Alex, my mom, and my dad, I'm supposing. Oh, what's this? Too far, too fast. Uh, first excerpt from the commercialization of the space program. Uh, is Kennedy second is in Kennedy's second term? The space pro the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program, both in the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the Union United States seemed to be reaching out to space together. Well, that's good. Ugh, I had like a burp that I couldn't actually get out. It was weird. I almost vomited. It was great. I'm sure you guys are, are really, really glad that I, I told you that, aren't you? Right, so let's see what all this is going on. Enter my password, yep. Uh, utilities. Ah, watch me, Morgan. Okay, so email. Uh, EOM. I still don't know what happened, but it. But I've put it. I still don't know what happened. I put it behind me. But there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked right. And you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending we don't, you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. I don't know who you are, Michaela. Uh, Jason Chang, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in the crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware set set up sent up. Uh, let me know if you get. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Last, uh, like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office, Jason. And then we finally have this. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a. Uh, one of the. Thank you. Thank you, that, that was loud. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those looking glass things. Loading. Ooh. Hey, it's me. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? Yeah. If I'm talking to myself, it must be. <laughs> That's you cool watching everything load up. Holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator. Oh, okay. I, had, I knew it was, I knew it was uh, an operator. It knows what you've forgotten. Okay. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms. Seems like a bad idea. Their neural patterns onto ours. Mm -hmm. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory yeah. back to the moment you first put it right, in. Right, I knew that. You all That's knew that, where right? You forget. Yeah. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. Right. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. That's concerning. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? I don't know. Why did he do that? I'm going to like what I have to say next. Ah, what the fuck? Hey, give, give, me, give me my fucking... Give me, give me my face. Oh, whoops. Well, oh, hey. There's stuff back here. I can't let you listen to that. That's not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. That's not a just, That's not a convincing it, way to keep me. Time. That's not a, a way to keep me from reading something or listening to something. That's that's about the fastest way to get me to want to watch it more. 
Don't don't watch that. It's it's bad for you. You can't watch that. Hey, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the looking Where's... glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. Okay. He invented the looking uh, glass damn. technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. Well, I'm looking for Why would to help you going the to the guy that made it restore server connection? Nah, I don't have a matching key card. I didn't think I did, but well, all right, that solves that question. But hey, now I have this spiffy, awesome shotgun, so that's useful. Um, how many shotgun shells do I have? Twenty-one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and get another glue canister. Oh, nice. How much more of that stuff do I have? Uh, where's my organic? Okay, organic material, I have two. Yeah, I'll make another one. Thank you. And I don't have any more organic material. But I can make some more shotgun shells. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll make some more. I think that's it on my materials, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I've got a shitload of shotgun shells, and I'm not afraid to use them now. This thing better be badass. Probably will be. Alright, let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! Yeah, you don't, you don't like to fuck with my turret, do you? Ass. What the fuck was that? Come here. Alright, I'm gonna need you to... What? Combat bit? I know how to use combat! He may not have to fight every enemy head on. Yeah, I... I, I, I get that, but... Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. ...to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. I know you're a fake. That got me last time. The fucking... The actual gun's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? What, you gonna... You gonna... You gonna come try and fucking... Tr you gonna try and come get me? Hmm. That's cool how I have like how it has like the uh, the screen on the side. That's awesome. The shotgun, I mean. Uh, hey, nine millimeter. Hey, silence pistol. Nice. Nine millimeter. Let's see here. <sighs> what do I got about that? Uh, the Transstar PPN eight. Pistol, standard issue for all Transstar security. Small, fast, and quiet. The pistol provides satisfactory damage while maintaining a degree of stealth. That's... Hey. I will not argue with that. Alright, listen, you're coming with me. Okay. Oh, hey. Hardware labs. That's where I'm trying to go, right? I think so. I'm gonna explore this place a little bit more. Uh... Okay, I think it's dead. So let's see. I'm looking around for just any kind of equipment or items or things I can read. You know, whatever. Elias Black, huh? Well, sorry, Mr. Black, but you're a dead man. Anything back here? Don't think so. Okay. What about over here? Okay, I think. Okay, there's where the workshop is. Gotcha. All right. Let me take this out. 
If there's stuff, I want to, I want to, want to be able to catch it off guard, maybe. Hmm. I'm not seeing any duplicates around here, at least not to my knowledge. Things are already sort of knocked over, so it's hard to tell if things have been messed with. I don't think. I don't know. Ugh. I could try and repair this, but that would be a lot of. Oh no, that's that's not worth it. That's not worth it. That's way too many spare parts for that. Oh hey, flexifoam bolts. Sure. Um. Ooh. More stuff for organic material. I'll always take that. Oh, this turret is indispensable. I'm gonna be real mad when he's broken. Because I suspect that he will probably break soon. Through no fault of its own, of course, mind you. Yes, thank you. You have 15 seconds to comply. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Ah! Damn psychic. Ah, he's broken again, god damn it. Uh, wait. What the fuck? Yuri Kimura? Hack? What? Okay, so this is how hacking works. It's weird. It's like you have to get a ball into a circle. But the ball is very bouncy, so so like uh, you see like like this. Oh fuck! Oh that! Uh, uh, Jesus! Uh, and I think because this is a okay, and go back through. Uh, uh, B. There we go. Hacking succeeded with two seconds to spare, or one second. I can't remember. Well, all right, that didn't really help anything. So now I'm going to get my shotgun back out because that's definitely the more useful of the two things that I've got. Um, there we go. Baseball glove, take it. Uh, the space elevator. Excerpt from the article "Stairways to Heaven" by Dr. Angeline M. Angelina M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Star, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry (WSI) has has calculated that using the Stork Tower facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks to the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Wusi has, has aggressively moved to purchase ideal states sites for future space elevators, essentially space-age squatting. Well, if it works, it works, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. Flex foam bolts. Nice. Transstar Life. Excerpt from the quarterly employee newsletter, Transstar Life. In this edition of Transstar Life's Rising Star segment, we provide we, pro, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Talos One. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional base from his professional from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Telos One two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who's afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Telos One is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Space technology being efficient and easy and not scary. Well, it's probably still scary, but it's... Ah, whatever. No matching key cards. Didn't think so. Okay. I hear something. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come here. 
Yeah! I like the shotgun. It does good. It does good things for me. Good things for me and my body. Uh, let's see here. Can I upgrade? Um, I know. I, I use the upgrade kits. Where's the upgrade kit? What does it look like again? Where's my upgrade kit? I have one. I know I have one. I just got one. Right? Didn't I? Oh no, I left it back at the fucking office! I reorganized my inventory, I never got it! Ah! I'm such a fucking idiot! Jesus, alright. Hopefully they aren't like, you know, refilling the area behind me. Probably gonna lock that door on the way back through. Just so they can't, you know, sneak up behind me again. God, I'm such a fucking idiot. Alright, let's see here. Upgrade my weapon. Um, yes. Combine with... I feel like I'm gonna get more use out of the shotgun. Let's see, fire Ooh, firepower could be nice. Recoil, I guess, could be cool. Ammo capacity would be... Eh, it's not useful at this point, but I'll take... I'll take firepower. Mm, excuse me. Alright, so my shotgun's a little bit more damaging now. That's good. I mean, it's probably already... I mean, the, the main... God, what the hell? Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna sit tight, Mr. Door. The main problem I'm having with the pistol is the fact that it's, um... It's just... I, well, first of all, I don't have much ammo for it. I have, like, 21 more shells for this, so I'm, I'm quite comfortable with my shotgun. But, uh... My handgun is probably a lot more accurate, but... Okay. Huntress Boltcaster, hooray! It's a nerf gun. <laughs> I love this. The Huntress Boltcaster launches the dar fo foam darts, which do zero damage. Also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Uh, Nero mod application instructions. Yes, we've already read that. Um, there's no power here. Okay. Huh. Don't know what that is. Oh, hey, there's stuff over here. We haven't we haven't read this. You can't ship it home. It's already been noticed. One month's pay to makes it go away. Elias Black to Yuri Kamura. Oh, hey, neuromods. Shit. Sales folder. Excerpt from a Transstar sales and marketing internal in memo by Peter L Peter Laney. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think we can get advertising to push some more, some of the more appealing pros of NMs, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff, either. I don't think one person, I don't think any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many NMs at one time. Not at these prices. What I find more, far more worrying, though, is these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? We can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid setting their head back to the moment that they got the shit installed if we decided to take it out? If this leaks, it'll kill NM sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even this can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, NMs are permanent. Well, that is an understandable like risk. That's I mean, that's scary. That's scary shit. I mean, come on. Like think about it. Oh, oh yeah, sure. I I'll I'll gladly put this plug inside my fucking brain that'll that'll just sort of slam me back into the stone age whenever I take it back out. Now that I have this uh, shotgun though, and a glue cannon. But now that I have this shotgun, I feel a little bit more confident to go exploring. If only for the fact that I can probably hit as good as I take now. Maybe. I don't know. Staff lounge. Okay, I cannot get through there. I can get through there by going through here. Did I already explore this place? I know I killed some, some of the things here, but... Yeah, no, I didn't actually loot this place or read any of this stuff here. 
Oh, hello. That's uh, awfully useful, thank you. Recycle, please. Thank you. Synthetic ma exotic material. Ooh. I wonder what the exotic material is from. Uh, used cigar. International art. Talus edition. The Transtar Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create work exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and development facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. The installation artist, known simply as Jesse, constructed the chain of marbled glass panels that soar gracefully overhead in the Talos One lobby. And former street artist Patrick O designed a series of exclusive posters for Transstar featuring impressions of orbit, eclipse, and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transstar president Alex Yu commented, Art inspires, fires our creativity, makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. Yes, it does. That is why I, I wanted to become an artist. Pioneers of the space industry! Working aboard a space station like Talos 1 is comparable is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they're in space and adapt very well. By contrast, a trove of psychological and behavioral data has been compiled by a decade-long study of, Pythia, of Pythias employees. The Pythias facility sits deep in a crater of the lunar pole, permanently shadowed and surrounded by kilometers of ice. Permanent beneath Pythias is a is a vast network of cramped tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen, and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold, and often terrifying place, cut off from the warm glow of Earth, which extracts a heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. Ugh. That sounds fun. So very fun. Ooh. Lemon peel, thank you. Oh, yes! Food! Plenty of food. Give me all the food. Give me all the food you got. Give it, give it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah! Alright, nice. Uh, ooh, ooh. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's throw all this. Let's, let's find some more garbage and throw it in the recycler. <laughs> that was. That was a complete knee jerk reaction to that one. I'm glad that fucking hit. That looked awesome. I think. Uh, so, okay, yeah, that's the same art thing. Um. Nope. Come here! Okay. Well. I think that's all of them. There's no way for me to know for sure, but I think that was all of them. If it was, I will gladly calm down a little bit. But unless it wasn't... Uh, let's see here. Come on, baby. Yeah. Alright. Behold the future of 3D printing. Uh, do I know this? IT department? Uh, okay, I don't know. I think if I knew it, it would have come up on the side of the screen, so... Good morning, Talos. Hi. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. Jesus, really? If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. You got it, but that seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Psychiatra- Psychotronic staff only. If I could repair you, dude, I would. Oh, wait, hey, I have newer mods. Duh. Um. Engineer, I can repair things. Yay! Hell yeah. I can repair him. Alright, let's see here. Uh, repair. Beep. Yay! I have a turret back again. So, let's see here. What all do we got? What sort of quest am I looking at? Objectives. Uh, the corpse vanishes. Search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. You've got it. Okay, there it is. Huh. This game is super awesome. I'm, I'm like, totally into it. I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun just sort of, like, exploring and looking around and seeing all the nifty sci-fi shit.
Okay. Thankfully, I have a key card for this. Don't want anything getting behind me. Scanning target, no typhon material detected. Okay, thank you. I'm glad that I don't have any typhon material inside of me. Sylvain Bellamy. Ah. Well, there's his tracking bracelet. Now, if I remember, there's weird shit in here. There's, yeah, there's a weird, there's a weird thing here. Is there? I'm gonna try and sneak up, because I, I... I feel like there's something in here. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna try and nail it with this. Fuck you, dude! Oh, fuck! What the hell just happened? Okay, I- uh, up, 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 uh, 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 the B. Okay, great. That's that's great. Uh, uh, da 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 da. Uh, ha 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 ha. Come on, get through, get through. Ah, ah. ah okay. Great. Thanks. Okay. Eradicator auto turret version zero point seven point six online. Yeah, it's great. Oh, come on. Huh? Alright, I'm gonna see if I can if I can uh funnel them down this hallway or something. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Yeah, thanks, I know. What do they know I'm here? The fuck? How'd he die? Did he just burn himself to death? Oh my god, he burned himself to death. All right, I'm gonna try something probably real stupid, so I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, quick save. You don't know I'm here, fuck you. Fuck you! Ah, fuck! The hell? The fuck was that? Um, recycler charge. What? A dangerous prototype device that attracts all objects within a short radius and recycles them into material fragments. What the fuck? That's awesome. Um, that sounds really cool. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that sounds incredibly dangerous. When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the material structure of nearby objects. Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but is not fail-safe. Standing too close can prove, I can prove hazardous. I'm so glad that we just have these. Huh. Med kit fabrication plan. Oh, thank God. I can make, ha I can make fucking med kits now. Alright, um... I think I can put that out. Yep. Nice. And that'll suck that up. That'll suck that up. And there we go. Whew. Alright. Alright, I'm getting a new operator. I think these guys can heal me, if I remember. Is that Dr. Bellamy? No. Transtar Pyramid. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yes, I need your help. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing life-threatening. Oh, take long. All done. thank you. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback... Yeah, that's great. I don't really care about the fe fucking questionnaire. I do, however, need to repair my suit. Okay, that's better. 
All right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna run back to my... I'm gonna run back... Alright, I think I've cleared this place out for the most part, so I'm gonna run back and, uh... And get some stuff so I can... I'm gonna... Re re be I'm sorry, I my brain sort of froze up for a second there. I'm going to get back to my office and recycle a bunch of stuff, so... That's my current plan. Hey, a banana. Uh, yeah, I'll eat that. Sure. Probably a bit of a waste, but hey, I ate a banana. That's cool. Oh. Okay. Gonna recycle. Ooh, thank you. Now then. Where is a good place that has a bunch of junk that I can try out this, uh, this new doohickey that I just got? And, yeah, the recycler charge. This seems like something that would be really useful on a, uh, on a desktop that was, like, really cluttered. Maybe this place? Hmm. Could be a good place. Let's... Holy shit! That's amazing! It just turns into a fucking black hole! What the fuck? That's awesome! Alright, let's see here. Um... Let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm good. Let's go back. Go back into the trauma center and let's see if we can find Mr. Bellamy. Okay, let's see here. Crew, perhaps? Um, Bellamy, 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 Bellamy. Um, I would want him from... He's from, um, Niramod Division, right? Um, Bellamy, Bellamy, Bellamy. There he is. Okay. Where is he? I've already found him. Okay, I found him. Damn. Alright, where is where is he, though? Where is he, then? Hello. Good to see you again, Doc. Yes, it's good to see you as well. Uh, Wade, please, 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 with the cherry on top, fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. Gold crest, okay. Pop star, nice. Broken cooler fan, nice. Spare parts, nice. Spare parts, nice. I can repair you, nice. Yes, I understand that, thank you. Ooh, hello. Uh, let's see here. A burnt circuit board? I can't carry a burnt circuit board, really? Um... I'll, I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so let's see here. What's that? Oh, microwave. Hey. Eel scraps? Ugh. A pile of eel awful? Ugh. 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 Sounds... Hello, are you here for an appointment? Fuck. That was weird. Uh, biohazard waste. Not enough space. Ooh. Uh, petri dish, inventory full. What do we got going on here? Nothing? Okay, got it. Whew! Quarantine sounds fun. Sounds like a grant. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Maybe. I don't know. Do you know where Dr. Bellamy is? Uh, I'm going to get rid of... Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I, I sort of don't really need, but I sort of do at the same time. I'll get rid of the Udon noodles. Um, and I'll take this over. This is... What is this again? EMP charge. Okay, releases... Okay, that's an EMP charge. I don't really need that right now. So, I'll leave that. I'll leave it be. Uh, fucking get away from me. Anything in these lockers? Ooh, hey, another Psy Hypo. Hey, well. Hey! I like this. Ha <laughs> ha! That was, that was a good haul. What the fuck? Expired plasma bag. Eww, yeah, you. Psy Hypo. Okay, great. He's looking like he's having a good day. 
I'm going to go over here and read some of these notes so that you guys know what's going on with him. Briefcase. Hey, look, it's that. It. This is the same. Uh, this is the same test that I took in the beginning of the game. Um, good cop, good cop. Excerpt from a book on interrogation techniques by Dr. Avalon Bayer. The typical interrogation suspect portrayed in, by entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, enter, entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It is important to note that the majority of sub suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide them prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience, and case studies back to this, that has been that most people will move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. That is true from what I've heard about psychology and criminology stuff. Cosmos flower cuttings, new. Ew, ew, no. Program requirements document. Uh, 6.3.3, psychological risk. Studies show that there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized while appropriate tools, with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk while improving it, including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. That makes sense. Um... Sarah Slater, da, 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 da. Morgan Yu. Oh, oh no, Morgan Yu. It's me. That's me. Oh, let's see here. Email. Hey, Matt. Uh, let's see. Have my people. Uh, okay, uh, this. Uh, we read this before. Before Trevor Young. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. He walked in with an exper. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and went sideways. We walk. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is that Typhon is the Typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this. Get them to empathize with us. Okay, keep him in quarantine for the time being. And quarantine subject. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious sub subject there who is uh, suffering from memory loss. At the time, only Dr. Cole and myself should have access. Please set the new code to 8653. Got it. Files. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos. Okay. Plane. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Okay, th yes, I understand. All right, let's see. My, my concern with Dr. Calvo Calvino is increasing. His symptoms have escalated from memory loss to occasional disorientation and delusion of, and paranoia. Uh, two delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. So, this is the new file for Dr. Calvino's, um, moments. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um, it's always, always in my lab. lab. And, um, I'm, standing I'm standing in front of the front glass. Of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Evil. Well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on. Makes sense. But I can't help it. I have to turn it on. Hello. When Good I to do, see you again, Doctor Yu. It's like the heart of a black Ooh. hole. An immense darkness. Okay. There's something swimming in the black. I what the fuck are these? What the fuck is this? Like goddamn Cthulhu? I feel as though it wants to come through. Onto my, onto my side. side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but... I always wake before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass. I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Uh, Are you mind-controlled, huh? Uh, where did you get that drawing? That's Have weird. They can mind control people? Hmm. Uh, Trevor Young. Subject appears disoriented, paranoid. Not sure how much current behavior is due to incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommended, recommend continued observation. That's cool. Alright. Remain. Hello, are you here for an appointment? No, shut up. 8563, huh? 8563. What? 8653, sorry. Jesus! Well. He exploded when he died? Why? 
Oh, his fucking head blew up. Jesus. Holy shit. His head just detonated. DeVry7324. De Dev... Dev Rees. Dev Rise 7324. What does that mean? 7324. What? What is that? Hello. Open? Seven, Good to three. see you again, Doctor Yu. What's up with the music? Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough. Yeah, a little bit. Thanks. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. Good as new. Thank you. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Yeah. Eight five six. Wait. What? What was it? What, what did he say? Or not, not say, but... What did he scratch in here like a lunatic? 7324, okay, got it. What's up with the fucking music? Why is, why is the music going crazy? Wear gloves when handling chemicals. I mean, that's basic. That's, that's just normal science. Okay, so... I don't know where... Hmm. So my my objective right now, I'm trying to find search for Bellamy's corpse and trauma center, right? Yeah. What is he behind here? Secure pharmaceutical? Hello. Are you here for an appointment? Not really. I am Confused. Where is Dr. Bellamy? Hmm. Oh, hello. White Noise. Excerpt from White Noise. Perceptions of Imperceptions. By Herndon Rigo. More often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes. White noise isn't just a medical condition, and it's more like the wild, almost witch doctor like claims of psychic ability. Dr. Dio Igwe, anyone? It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod, nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is Transtar to decide? Will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race? Well, I mean... It's not necessarily what they're doing. It could just be... It, like, it, could, it could just be genetics. You know, some people have different psychic profiles. Your brains don't all run the same. So, nah. <gasps> oh, 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 DeVries, Chief Surgeon. Oh, his his thing, DeVries, 7324 or whatever. 7235, whatever it was. But, but how do I get in there? It's not a keypad. It's a fucking... What? But... Oh man. Oh, this sucks. How am I supposed to... Okay, hold on. I have a Nero mod that I can install real quick. Um... I'm going to install something... Like... Hmm. Uh, no, hang on to it, I suppose. Hello, are you here for an appointment? No. Chief Surgeon. Oh, man. I need to get in there, but I don't know how. If you guys know how, let me know. If any, if anyone knows how to, how to get in there, let me know, and I will do it. I'll do it as fast as I can. Uh, let's see here. Anything down here that I need? That's uh, probably locked. Don't think I have a key card for it. Nope. Uh, what else? Anything? Anything I need? I think I've got most everything around here. So, I'm going to... Oh wait, no, I have to go back up, right. Alright, well, let me get back to our to my main objective then. Through a glass darkly. Ooh, through a scanner darkly. Oh, oh, I see the reference you did there, game. A reference to a shitty movie. Oh, is that controversial? I don't know. That game, the fucking scanner darkly is just... Oh wait no, Scanner Darkly. I, I was I was thinking of Donnie Darko. I'm sorry. Scanner Darkly was really fun. Donnie Darko is fucking garbage though. Stupid, useless, non-stuff happening plot. 
Ho ho! Smack! 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 Hwa! Okay. And thus, we go into the hardware labs. Technological marvels such as the looking glass terminals and pro are prototyped and developed in the hardware labs. Well, that's good to know. Good to see that I'm going into the- so I'm- I'm officially blind from here on out. I don't know anything about the game after this point. Ugh. Oh, are we, uh... Cause, uh, the- the- the demo cut you off after this. Oh, ho, alright. Well. We will continue with uh, our exploration of Talos 1 in the next episode, so I hope that you've enjoyed yourselves. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and if you feel like it, let me know what you want to see in this game. If there's places that I've missed, or things that I should go look at, or read, I will go look at them and read them. So, until the next video, continue on your quest, and fare thee well.